New research into black holes has come up with the idea that they could be five-dimensional. In the theoretical idea of black holes, there are so many variables, just a deeper understanding of one could change everything. The day might come when the idea of falling into a black hole is seen in the same way as we now think of the idea of falling off the edge of a flat earth. I have placed links below this video to this research that is very interesting. They say that if black holes are based on five dimensions, then the physics of our whole universe will also be five dimensional. The reason I have made this video is because this research has similarities to the process I explain in these videos, where we have positive and negative charge forming a dynamic two-dimensional boundary condition within our three-dimensional universe. Therefore, in a way, we have a five-dimensional process with the exchange of photon energy forming the movement of positive and negative charge with the continuous flow of electromagnetic fields. In this theory, we have the holographic principle in play formed by the dynamic two-dimensional movement of positive and negative charge. I will place a link here that explains this in greater detail. I like to think of this as a three-dimensional process with one variable in the form of time. We have an emergent process with the future unfolding relative to the atoms of the periodic table. And because we are made of atoms, the future is also relative to the energy and momentum of our actions. This can be seen in the form of art or even scientific experiments. The wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons is forming a blank canvas that we can interact with, forming the possible into the actual. Within such a process, energy slows the rate that time flows as a process of continuous creation with an uncertain future unfolding photon by photon. The spontaneous absorption and emission of light forms a continuous process that we see and feel as the passage or continuum of time. This theory gives us a deeper understanding of time, quantum mechanics and relativity that would change our view of black holes completely. In this new research, they say that in our three-dimensional universe, black holes have a two-dimensional event horizon. That is, they are surrounded by a two-dimensional boundary that marks what they call the point of no return. On this surface, they say nothing can return. Even light photon energy can't radiate out. Time has stopped. This might sound odd, but in this theory, what we see and feel as the passage of time is formed by a process of continuous photon energy exchange that forms the ever-changing world of our everyday life. And if we look down into the subatomic world, within the nucleus of an atom, we have no concept of time, only the movement of part charge, or fractions of charge. And this is logical if what we see and feel as the passage of time is formed by a process of energy exchange relative to the electron probability cloud that surrounds the nucleus. Some of this new research on black holes that is based on mathematical theories indicates that our whole universe might be a five-dimensional black hole. I think such an idea highlights the problem of having a mathematical theory when the mathematics is not based on a sound geometrical process. There is also other research that suggests the unification of gravitational and electromagnetic fields could be possible if we had five dimensions for the structure of space-time. 
there is also the idea that the universe was never inside the singularity. Rather, it came into being outside an event arising. These ideas are more logical and are similar to the theory explained in these videos. For a deeper understanding of time could give us a picture of black holes as part of a creative process that formed the potential for the diversity of life around us and the beauty of the stars above us. A picture of reality where our three-dimensional universe is only a shadow of a deeper reality. I will place links here that explains this theory in greater detail. Thanks for watching. Please sub and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.